Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Martin. I must admit, I haven't been this excited in a long time. These last few days have been eye-opening for me. And why? Blockchain and cryptocurrencies. I first got exposed to blockchain back in 2013. Back then, I had built a brand new computer, which was a dream I had had for many years. I wanted to have a high-end PC so that I could have all the tools necessary for building websites and all the speed so that I wasn't lagging in between Photoshop, Illustrator, and my IDE. I had all this hard drive space as well. I had a lot of RAM in that computer and a lot of juice. So I went ahead and downloaded the entire Bitcoin. I can't remember um, what it's called. I guess it's like, so you can set up a mining node and I actually let it run for a little bit. I earned very minimal amount of Bitcoin. Unfortunately, I, I don't have that address anymore. I mean, it probably is not worth more than a few dollars at this point, but 2013 Bitcoin was worth a lot less than it is now. So it's probably some sort of value. Then I got re-exposed to cryptocurrencies in 2017 when I got excited. This was the first big hype where cryptocurrencies were finally starting to go mainstream. I bought a few hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin and Ethereum. I also got really into blockchain and the underlying technology, decentralization, and all these ideas really got me excited back in those days. This was 2017 into early 2018. If you go back a little bit in my channel history, you'll actually see that I posted a video about blockchain and how I saw that it would change the world. Now, unfortunately, Around that time, I was also really busy trying to figure my life out and trying to get adult stuff together. You know, like having enough income to thrive. I was also working on my startup at that point in time, so I didn't have a whole lot of time and energy to really look into cryptocurrencies. However, I do wish I would have spent more time looking into crypto, particularly Bitcoin, and then also blockchain technology. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You know, two and a half years later, here we are. However, the growth that I've seen in the sector from 2018 to 2020 in a period of few years is amazing, it's crazy. I think we're at the cusp where people are going to latch on. And why, why this time, right? We thought it was gonna be 2017, 2018. We thought 2018 was gonna be the big year for crypto and then kind of fizzle out, right? Prices went sky high and then they crashed back down. Why 2020? Well, we're experiencing a health crisis like nothing that our generation has seen nothing that society has seen in about 100 years. And we've had a lot of economic damage and contraction of the GDP because of this health crisis. And what we've seen here in the United States is that the central bank has been propping up the stock market. So even though Main Street America is shattered and people are losing their homes or getting kicked out of their apartments, not having work, and now they don't have an extra stimulus check for unemployment, and yet the stock market keeps going up and up and up and up. And the Federal Reserve has just been printing money off the wazoo. So we have now two economies, right? We have the stock market and we have the main street, the economy that we all know, that we see, that we interact with. We're tired of this manipulation and all of this support going to the wealthiest 1% or wealthiest one-tenth of 1%, whereas the majority of us are kind of just left to, you know, fight it out. And that's not fair, that's not cool, but also I'm, I've am i grown tired of putting my money into the stock market when it's just being propped up by a lot of speculation, right? A lot of people with a lot of money. So it seems like the stock market is a bubble. In the last few weeks, I've been trying to figure out where to put my money besides the stock market because I don't want to have so much of my net worth tied up in a market that is being manipulated, particularly a market that's being manipulated in favor of Wall Street and the wealthiest people in the country and in the world. So this is where crypto comes in. I'm, I'm really excited about crypto and the fact that it decentralizes power. There's no more central bank that is manipulating the currency, the value of the currency, or printing any more currency. In the case of Bitcoin, there's a finite number of coins that will be created by the system, which means that over time, the value of each individual coin will go up. Some cryptocurrencies will continue to produce new coins, but at a limited quantity. Most recently, this week, I've been researching DeFi, decentralized finance, and my mind is blown. I can see all the opportunities and traditional banks 
And financial institutions, watch out because this is the real deal. I'm very bullish on DeFi. I'm, I've been looking at a few different applications at this moment, evaluating them. And I know a lot of people are still skeptical. You might be skeptical, but that's why I'm evaluating them so that I can show you what works and what's not working, what's true and what's not true. I'm like a guinea pig and I'm looking at these different DeFi offerings, trying to figure out which ones I'm going to invest in and also trying to come up with an investment strategy. In the stock market, my preferred investment strategy has been robo-investing like Wealthfront or Betterment or index funds like the VT Sachs from Vanguard, which is great. If you're going to be in the traditional stock market, I definitely recommend that you go with an index fund. So I'm trying to find a simple way to invest in crypto that cuts out a lot of the noise. There's a lot of noise in crypto. There are hundreds of coins and tokens and just a lot of stuff, a lot of noise. And I want to cut through the noise, get the maximum return on my investment without having to basically like trade almost like the day trade equivalent, but on crypto. I don't want to do that. I just kind of want a simple strategy. So to this end of helping you demystify crypto and make the jump from 100% fiat or wherever you're at right now to having at least part of your holdings in crypto, I am launching a new website. It's called CryptoMy.Money. I will link it here. Right now, I only have a little bit of content on there, but I'll be building up that content as my knowledge and my experience in crypto grows. I am very bullish on crypto over the next few months. I am foreseeing that I will transfer about 30% of my portfolio to crypto. Part of that will be allocated into Bitcoin because I see Bitcoin as the digital equivalent to gold. My viewpoint on Bitcoin may change, this may change, but as of now, I see Bitcoin like digital gold. I'm very excited about stable coins though, and using them as an alternative to a savings account. This is very speculative, so if you're not comfortable with the risk, don't go into DeFi at this moment, but I'm gonna go into it, and then I will share my experiences with you. I'm also really excited about getting a crypto card. I want a card that I can spend stable coins. That's particularly what I'm looking at. And why stable coins? Because for me, I see stable coins as an easy jump when the, the value of stable coins is pegged to currency. So a lot of stable coins are pegged to the US dollar. So it's basically like a drop in replacement to the US dollar in my opinion. But then having stable coins, you can spend them on a card or you can loan out the stable coins and get a pretty good return on your investment. I haven't yet experimented with this. I'm just getting started. So follow my journey and check out my website. Subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more about my journey into crypto and be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. All right, everyone, till next time, take it easy.